Hey guys, Alex from 7th Hour Films back again with Prison Break. Last time on Prison Break, we finished off Season 3 with the art of the deal. And by art of the deal, we mean we're really scrambling to improvise something so that everybody walks away safely. But still, there was an art to the improvisation, I suppose. So, yes, it was deal time. Uh, after catching up with Whistler... Uh, they eventually made the exchange at the uh, Panama City Museum of Antiquities, which was pretty cool, uh, because there uh, Gretchen had to give up her weapons, and then Michael was able to uh, sound, sound the alarm at the museum, which meant that all the emergency doors were locked, and uh, they all had to go out the same way. However, there was still some bullets flying around, um... Sophia got shot, but she got to the hospital and she should be all right. Um, James got away with uh, Gretchen. However, he revealed to her that uh, he does not have the book. The book is currently in the possession of Teabag, who has basically taken over Sona after killing Lachero. Uh, Sucre, uh, after being suspected of being in connection with Michael Schofield, has been sent into Sona. Um, Bellic is also in there too, so... It's pretty crazy going on in Sona. Meanwhile, uh, pretty much everyone else has gotten away. Um, however, uh, Michael wants to join back into the fray, fight the company, because he wants he wants revenge for what happened to Sarah, you know? So, yeah, he's going after them. And uh, they've also, the company has teamed up with Mahone. But Mahone, being the, you know, the smart, brilliant character that he is, is like, look, if you've actually fucking killed Sarah then he's coming for us. You have to know that, you know? And sure enough, Michael is coming for them. So, today we are starting off Season 4 with Episode 1. And possibly Episode 2, I'm not sure. So, uh, here's the thing uh, about the Blu-ray. Is that it says here on the Blu-ray, uh, Disc 1. Uh, si si I don't know how to pronounce this first word. Sick, Sicola and Breaking and Entering, which I believe those are the first two episodes of this season. And some of you guys told me that they were aired basically back-to-back -back as a two-hour premiere special. That's all great and good, but they may actually be bundled together like that on the Blu-ray just as one long episode. So, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to get. So, basically... Um, if the episode ends after 45 minutes, then it will just be the first episode, and that's all we'll do. But, if it keeps going, if it never stops, uh, between episodes, then, then I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna go straight on through to episode two, basically. So, yeah. So, I have no idea what's going to be happening. Are we going to get a long episode? Are we not gonna get a long episode? Well, well, you guys will have already known, because it'll be in the title, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sitting here not knowing what we're going to get, but we'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, it is also the first episode of the season. And like always, I uh, for the first episode, if I can stop tripping over my words, the first episode of every season that I do here on the channel, I do full length available for free. So if you want to watch my full unedited reaction to this episode of Prison Break, all you got to do is head down in the description and in the pinned comment um, and click on the link. That will take you over to my Patreon page. But remember, this one is free. And you can watch my full unedited reaction. Now, there's no show footage, and before you complain, it is illegal to give you that. Okay? And if you weren't going to complain about that, then thank you. But anyway. Um, but yeah, there is no show footage. Basically, what you gotta do is sync up your copy of this episode of Prison Break to my footage. I've made it as easy as can be. You just set it up in two windows. You have my video. It starts playing. There's a, there's a countdown. You hit play on Prison Break. They should, maybe a slight margin of error. You might have to do it once or twice. But you go, and you watch it, and you have a good time. It is so easy to do, you know? It's so easy to do. And if you like that, if you think, oh, you know, this is a very interesting experience, you know, you get to see me when I'm just sitting here, you know, just cracking my knuckles or burping or something, um, the stuff that I normally edit out, um, sometimes, uh, and if you like that, well, you can sign up for full length, full time for just $5 a month over on my Patreon page. Yep. 
Just $5 gets you access to every single episode and movie in full length that I have ever done. And yeah, um, so you can do that or not. Either way, it's up to you. But anyway, um, yeah, but whether you do that or you just stay here and watch the normal edited reaction, I do highly encourage that you stick around uh, afterwards for the discussion because we always do a discussion here. And discussions on Prison Break are always really fun. So yeah. With all that said, let's just go ahead and get into episode one and possibly episode two of season four of Prison Break. Here we go. Hmm. I wonder if it's that one. Yep, there it is. I just went to the one that's longer. All right, My I think we're getting Michael the full Schofield, thing. And I'm a fugitive. Hi, Michael. But I've tracked him here to Los Angeles. Well, shit, we're back in the states. He's with another. Uh, so he's just gonna go fucking kill them. Ah! Uh, prison break. Woo! Wow, we didn't have the normal intro, jeez. Do you want to sell a card to me or not? What is this card? Jesus. Dude, this better be a fucking ghost rare wing dragon of raw for God's sake. Like Jesus Christ. Watch your step with that thing. The company will do anything to get it back. I don't know it. Meh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love that look. Just ah, oh, come on, man. This is for Sarah. I never killed Sarah. Oh shit. You asked Lincoln what he really saw. Listen to him, Michael. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying to you. Lincoln bought it. You bought it. It worked. Huh. Sarah. Oh shit. There's not an H in Sarah. Why have it why is it taking me four seasons to realize that? Well, I was right, she's not dead. This shit didn't help me. You insisted that we get him out of Sona. We had to. He'd already made contact with the target. At that point it was him or no one, sir. Oh, okay. What's your stake? General, I can fix this. You trained me. Not well enough, apparently. Huh. Oh, they're not gonna just kill her, are they? Oh shit, look at this guy. Um, okay. You hear about Sona? What about it? Burned down three days back. The inmates, they rioted. No sign of Belek, Teabag, or Sucre. Oh. Sucre. He got popped. I don't know how. I mean, the papers listed the name of the inmates, and he was in there when it went down. Oh, Sona's just gone. <laughs> okay. And, uh, we gotta we gotta clean some things up from last season, I think. Yeah, it was dark. But if you're yeah. asking me if I picked up the head to check, check to see if it was Sarah, no, Michael, I I, I didn't. And Elsie said he. Oh my god. Mom! Mom! I told you! Don't worry, you'll make it there! Wow, so, okay. We really just had, like, they didn't want to continue with Sona at all. Y you know, I don't blame them, but wow, they have just skirted that away. Mahone. Mahone in this fucking hat, I love it. Gretchen's dead. She never showed up. Come and talk to me, please. Uh, just like that? But she's on the fucking... Oh, uh, she's on the back of the Blu-ray! She can't be dead! Whistler and I were at that conference to get a data card. It's like the company's black book. And it lists all their agents, all their operations. They refer to it as Scylla. Whistler's Scylla. Got it. Alex, talk to me about Sarah. My book, the bird book, the one I lost in Sona, contained information that would have helped facilitate the break-in, but it can still be oh, accomplished. okay. With your help. Where's Sarah? See, they were planning a lot of this. That's all I care about. This can be done within a week. Less. At least let me show you the- Whoa! Oh shit. It's a fucking- It's a fucking assassin. That- Shit. He's not on the- he's not on the back of the Blu-ray! Shit! How does he have money? Birds. You kept your word to me. 
Oh, it's Lechero's money, that's why. You're the first ever done that. I come from the something called a blood feud. Comprende? Yes. Is he going Michael after Scofield Michael? left me for dead one too many times, as it turns out. Oh, shit. Is that fucking Black Lightning? Is that Chris Williams? I fucking love that guy. Why do you need a plan if you want to be with someone? You just be with them. <sighs> Don't say that unless you mean it. Hmm. Because I'll turn this world upside down to get back to you. Aww. So don't say it unless you mean it. He's the fucking... He's the I best fucking character. You feel for this guy so much. Okay. Ooh! Into the fruits! Ooh! Shit! Oh, fucking... I'm looking for Alex. Uh, well, he's not here. We're done talking. Oh, shit. God damn it, he's so fucking huge and intimidating. God damn it. This is actually terrifying. Like, legitimately. Like, Chris Williams, he's such a, He's so built. You know, he's so jacked. Ugh. Michael Schofield. Special Agent Don Self. Homeland Wait a minute. Security. Were you there when James Whistler was killed? Isn't that a guy from Friends? I knew you. Yeah, I've, I've seen this guy on Friends. Shit, who was he dating? Was it Phoebe? I think it was Phoebe. Worked for the company for about ten years. This is Cameo City today. You recognize this handwriting? This is your father's. Oh, shit. He spent the last two years of his life going after this very thing. How the fuck would Michael know his handwriting? He barely knew the guy. No! God damn it! Did Black Lightning kill them? Hey, you don't wanna go in there! You don't wanna go in there. No! I'm sorry. God, so many people die in fucking sorry. left and right! Jesus! Oh! They have a baby? Lila Maria Sucre. Aww. She my name. No! The only time I've ever seen a cute baby in, in this. It's okay. It's okay. You can't keep bringing Maricruz down. Oh, you can't do this sake. anymore. Oh, boy. Oh, God. I love Bellic's helping him. What a fucking character arc Bellic has had. We're the same. And he just can't stand it. Drives his ass crazy. You're a we pedophile. The same brilliant mind. The same natural born leader tendency. Same one in a million top charisma. Yes. You are not an intellectual rival like Mahone is. Oh! Oh! Yay! Oh, yay! All right. Oh, we're good. We're 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 all good, folks. Ah. Uh. Uh. You left this behind. <laughs> That's not what this is about. I'm just getting me my rose back. No. Yeah, I guess I'm done now. I can retire. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. No oh, shit. <sighs> Those tattoos, man. Oh, Joe. Do you want to talk about it? Shit's been rough for a while. Ooh. Damn. He didn't even notice that shit. Presuming they did the, you know... The... Thing. Come here. Whoa! Shit! God damn- Oh, this fuck- God damn it, Black Lightning! They're not gonna stop unless we stop them, Link. You can think of what I'm thinking. Let's end this. We gotta take the deal. Yeah. We're in. And we're being shot at. Can't tell you how grateful I am for you, including me. <laughs> I'm super great vouched for you, Bellic. You said you came through for him down in Panama. Yeah. Yay, Bellic is on the team. Michael? 
You know who's got it, right? <laughs> Tea bag. Oh. Well, you we still have, have, have the book. But there's some things you can't fake. And there's some things you can't hide. Nah. Yeah. How high is your threshold for pain? Wait. We're gonna oh. go into the night. Oh my god, he's getting the tattoos removed? Ha! Huh. And no sedative either. Oh man, talk about a loss of a character right there. You better hold up your end of the deal. Let's go! Alright, here we go. We're going on a mission! Oh yeah, okay, now that is definitely the cut right there. I think we're in episode two now. But we're gonna keep going. And Roland's working off a sentence just like the rest of you. In fact, with okay, the amount then. of security that's gonna be around Scylla, Roland's expertise will be an assessment. I've got an idea where to start. That's excellent, Alexander. See? There's a man who's- It's just Alex. All right, <clears throat> let's let these men get to work. Or Mahone, for that matter. Man, so we got, we got like a base in Los Angeles. Ah. Uh, we haven't ate or drank anything for days. He's, I like that they immediately, he's memorizing the book. Because that's what he did with the map in Utah. Ah, uh, fucking Gretchen. But she's already dead, that sucks. Mahone got a new hat. Wireless hard drive that swallows up any electronic data within 10 feet of it. I see. Like what? I can walk out of here and get the identities and financial statements of 10 people in 10 minutes on a slow day with one hand on my junk. That is a it hell of a device you've made. <laughs> Whoa! Jesus! <gasps> when one of us can help the other one survive. You don't want to do this, please. You don't want to fight the ultimate warrior, man. <laughs> He was just prepared to eat him. Nah, he's dead. He's gonna eat him. He's gonna cook him and eat him. They can't find like a jackrabbit or something out there? I don't know what wildlife is in the Mexican desert, but there's gotta be something. Do you mind if I take a look? Oh, no. Thanks. <laughs> Oh. oh, that was clever. Slip it in with the paper. Yeah. Hell, we can give you a ride if you'd like. Man, Ooh. What's wrong, man? Eat some bad Mexican? <laughs> Something like that. Damn, well, he doesn't enjoy being a cannibal. We can at least give him that. Come on. Oh. Come on. This ain't gonna work, is it? Got it. Got it. All right. All right, man. Uh, what if she left the device? Hi there. I'm not inconspicuous in a black shirt and black jeans. Up. Oh. Hey, stop! Oh my God! Yay, Bellic! Bellic's doing something. I actually, had to slow down not to catch you. <laughs> yeah. It's not in the bag. No, she left it, didn't she? The one thing he never ran away from was his belief that the company needed to be taken down. And we got an opportunity to do that. Then this is our fight, not theirs. Man, this, this ain't Fox River. These guys chose to be here. Yeah. Remember that. That's true. I am desperately running out of space for notes on this episode. Got it. Oh. Mahone. No. No. Ah. Alex. This is no time to be spacing out. Oh shit, is Bruce gonna die? Don't turn around. Unless you 
you'd like to experience a great deal of pain. Oh, uh, Wyatt, that's or his name. A greater length of time. Sorry to hear about your friend, dude. Ah, it's all right. No. He had a full life. Yeah, fucking Whistler's just dead. We're gonna have to talk about that. So he made it to San Diego, but that's not Los Angeles. Damn. All of this because Whistler didn't memorize this shit. Ah, uh, now he's headed to Los Angeles. Okay. What happened at Panama, but, um, I think I already know what you're gonna say. How's that? Because you're a little like me. <laughs> because you're gonna say you're fine. But you can handle it. No. Yeah. So. I just want to start over. Yeah. Start over. Okay. No Panama. But, uh, no season two. I have to divorce my wife. No. <laughs> Is he still, still, still married? married? To a well, wow. A, I've been a little busy. <laughs> B, I'm pretty sure she was Czech. Mike. No. Okay. How do I make this clear? If if Scylla was like a pizza. Yeah. Oh, we got a slice. So where's the that was only the part of it? In the Odyssey, Scylla is a six-headed monster that requires a sacrifice of six soldiers in order to pass. So Scylla's in one card. There's five others. It's six. Shit! If she knows something about anything that's going on, I'm going to find it. The fuck are you even talking about? Gretchen? Uh, Gretchen! Well, she's still alive. James is not. That's why she's on the back of this and James isn't. Poor James. And he was such a big deal. Oh, shit. That happens. Michael. Why was his nose bleeding? I mean, hey, that happens to me sometimes. You're just going about your business and suddenly your nose starts bleeding. Ah, shit! Shit, I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I thought... I, I legitimately thought that was just going to keep going forever. Alrighty. Jesus Christ. Alrighty. That's the first two episodes of season four. So see, people who want me to do two episodes a week, you got your wish. But just this once. Next week, we're back to one a week. Ah, oh. I only did this because, honestly, it would have been easier instead of trying to just guess where the episode ends and stuff. Figured, eh, what the hell. It's presented as one episode. Let's just do it all. But yeah. Ah, oh. Jiminy. Okay. Well. <laughs> A lot of interesting stuff. A lot of interesting stuff. So, guess who was right? Guess who's been right this whole fucking time? Uh, Sarah is not dead. Sarah isn't dead. Jesus, you could have fucking mentioned that sometime, though. Like, I guess... I guess during the exchange and stuff, they eh, couldn't have done that. Well, all right. But you know who is dead? James is dead. Okay, that... Let, let's talk about James being dead. That feels like the actor did not wish to return. Or maybe there was a scheduling conflict. For whatever reason, he couldn't return. So they just decided, okay, we're just going to have to actually kill him off and just change the whole thing. Because from where we leave off at the end of season three to the beginning of this, like, it's so strange, you know? With everything with Whistler and Gretchen and Mahone, you know, going in, it's like, oh, yeah, I'm in. And stuff like that. It's like, oh, but if... But if she's really killed Sarah, then 
if she's really killed Sarah, then she's the weak link and stuff like that. To this episode, no, Sarah's alive, but now James is dead. And it's and they were actually going to take down the company. Like, I feel like stuff had to be reworked a bit, you know? Granted, everything with the book... Like, the book seems legit. Like, there was... That was the plan to have Whistler going against the company. But I feel like that was... Maybe that was going to be a revelation for later, you know? Maybe the original plan was that, you know, four or five episodes down the line, they would reveal that, and then Whistler and Mahone would join... would join Michael, you know? But... It feels like they had to change that up so that to accommodate not having James Whistler. Which at that point, uh, that's th that's a bit rough. That is a bit rough. Because we spent the entirety of season three concerned with this guy. You know? The entire third season is about this guy... And busting this guy out of Sona. You know? And now he's dead. And we're just gonna kind of move on. You know? So, I'm a little conflicted. Because on the one hand, I really enjoyed these two episodes. And I like where we're going with this. But on the other hand, killing Whistler like that kind of sucks. But I can only imagine, like... I imagine they didn't... You know, just be like, ah, well, fuck Whistler. We don't need him anymore. It, it must have been some sort of scheduling conflict or the actor just didn't wish to return. You know, And that's happened before. Um, similarly enough, at the same time, that actually happened on Breaking Bad. Uh, you know, because Breaking Bad and Prison Break were both affected by this writer's strike. Um, but top of season two, top of season two, they basically had to do that with one of their main actors. Like, they were going to have this actor continue through the second season, but he was like, no, I, 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 you know, I'll give you, like, an episode. Like, I'll, I'll at least come back so you can finish my character. But other than that, I don't, you know, I, I, I don't wish to return, basically. And they, they obliged, and that was fine. And it worked out, honestly. Uh, I think it worked out to Breaking Bad's favor. Um... So, yeah, I would imagine it's sort of the same thing here, that Whistler, the actor, just something came up or he just didn't wish to return to Prison Break. So, they, you know, it's like, well, I'll come in for a cameo, basically, at the top of the first episode, but you gotta kill me. You gotta have fucking Cress Williams kill me. That guy is so fucking intimidating. I love him. And he's our new, I guess he's our new guy. In season one, it was Kellerman. In season two, it was Bill Kim. In season three, it's Gretchen, and now it's fucking Cress Williams. Like, that's so fucking... He's so fucking... He's so fucking big and intimidating, you know? Ah, oh, man. And I I absolutely loved him as Black Lightning. He was the best part of uh, the Black Lightning show, honestly. Um, so, yeah, having him here now as our sort of agent we have to fight, our Kellerman type, like, yes, I love that, you know? Sarah. Not dead. Just top of this top of the episode, Sarah isn't dead. Like, yep, let's just dispel that. And I know the whole thing was that uh, the actress couldn't return to the third season. Uh, I think it was because she got pregnant. Um, so she just couldn't do it, and that's perfectly fine. So they kind of wrote that. But I wonder if because they don't say anything, and they really don't even drop hints to it until... Uh, until today, when they just say she's not dead. I wonder if they did that, but they were like, well, we left it open enough to where if she wants to come back, we can bring her back. But if she doesn't want to come back, like Whistler, uh, you know, if the actress didn't want to come back, then they could just keep going with the plot, basically, you know? So, but I like that. And honestly, yeah, it's, it's nice seeing Sarah again. Like, it's... I, I really like that. I missed her, honestly, you know? Um, and okay. Another thing 
another interesting thing that these episodes have brought us that is definitely we have to clean some things up from how we left last season Sona is gone end of last episode we have end of last episode we have Sucre being sent into Sona Lachero is dead Bellic is there Teabag has basically taken over Sona top of this episode without even seeing any of it we just say that Sona burned down off screen Bellic and Sucre made it out we don't know Teabag and eventually later we see Teabag and yeah Sona just burned down that is the most we didn't know where to go with that plot line so we are just dropping it and that's fine that's fine I'm glad I'd rather we have what we have here, you know? But it definitely feels like... Okay, it definitely feels like... While, yes, last episode worked as a season finale, but I, it now it definitely feels like it was a mid-season finale. There were places we were going to go. We were going to do more with James. We were probably going to do a bit more with Sona, but now that we're at the top of the fourth season, like, okay, we have a brand new season... And we have some things we need to clean up. We've got the actress playing Sarah back. Uh, we're not going to have James back other than a cameo. And we have, the, basically, we have all these ideas, you know, taking down the company, you know, the, the battle, the war in Los Angeles, basically. But we need to, we cannot be, you know, keeping part of the plot in panama anymore like we have to drop that and drop it they did sona just burned off screen and they're all out and they're fine like well shit you know like jesus i don't know why the company didn't try that apparently if you just burn down sona you can get the fuck out of there like well shit why didn't any of them try that you know they could have gotten whistler out very easily then all right. Uh, so, James is dead. It seemed like Gretchen was dead, but no. I should have known because she's at the she's on the back of the Blu-ray that she'd be alive. So, but yeah, it is something that James Whistler is not on the back of his Blu-ray. But I did not put two and two together. Man, we just got fucking shot, and he's like, "Oh shit!" Like I was running through my head, like. No, this can't be it. Like, there's got to be, like, you know, like, wait a minute. That's not Whistler. They just take take off a mask and some dude takes his face off and it's actually James. Like, no, no, he's just dead. He's just dead. That's all we got out of him was a cameo. But, yeah. But on the back of this Blu-ray, we've got Michael, we've got Lincoln, we've got Sarah, we've got Gretchen, we've got Mahone, and we've got T-Bag. Or, uh, Sucre. I'm stupid. We don't have T-Bag on the back of this, actually, so. But T-Bag is still alive. Is there stuff shifting around in here? Let me check. No, okay. No, oh, it's... That can kind of shift a bit, all right. I'm not looking at the description or anything, by the way. The text on the back of the box, on the back of the Blu-ray. But yeah. But James is dead. Um... Let's see. But he was going to be against the company. And uh, I guess Gretchen wasn't. Gretchen wasn't. But. <sighs> okay. And the whole thing of like. Well. The reason they needed James out of Sona. Was because he had already made contact. With. Uh, the guy who had. Scylla. So I guess this guy stole Scylla and then the company needed James to get it back, basically. Which, that does track. See, that's the thing, is some of the stuff with James, they needed him to get Scylla back, but then he's actually going to go against the company. And the whole thing with his book that Teabag is now using, all of that definitely seemed pre-planned. The only thing they can't use anymore is is James himself, you know? Because for whatever reason, he just had to go. 
So, yeah. So I'm not saying that like they had to like completely redo everything from the end of season three, but there is clearly stuff from season three that it's like, okay, we cannot keep this around, whether, you know, because we don't want to keep it around, like Sona, or we just can't keep it around, like uh, Whistler. So, yeah. Very, very interesting stuff either way. Um, so, yeah, let's see. The Teabag. Teabag is out for revenge. The bastard can't just leave. No, nope, he is... Which I get it, you know? When he says, like, you know, he's been screwed over too many times by Michael Schofield. Like, I get why he's doing this, but that's very interesting. I like that. Where, you know, season two was all about Teabag, you know, trying to get the money and then just escape. And then, you know, we pretty much had, uh, we pretty much had Michael not even wanting the money, really. He just wanted to go after Teabag, you know? He wanted to stop him. And now it's almost the reverse, that now Teabag is going to go after Michael. But... I like that immediately he's memorizing the book because that's what he did in season two. And I like that, that continuity there that, you know, he found the map to, uh, where the money was buried, you know, where DB Cooper's money was buried. He memorized that and then ate the map so that they had to use him. And now he's doing the exact same thing with the book. He's memorizing the book and then eating it so that if they still need the book, then they're going to need him instead, which is crazy, you know? Um, but yeah, so he's using the book, and he's making his way up. Um, let's see, to kind of keep some of these notes together, um, Dan, he had to fucking eat Sancho. That's fucking crazy that he had to fucking eat that guy. I mean, he might not have eaten, a, might not have eaten too much of him, just enough to sort of get by, but yeah... Teabag, I guess we have to add Cannibal, but the thing about it is, you know, when it's like, oh, you know, me and Michael Schofield, we're exactly the same, but he doesn't like, he, he thinks he can look down on me, you know? But he's a pedophile. And he needs to admit that to himself, you know? He needs to admit that to himself, that he is a rapist and a pedophile. Michael is not, so, you know... Um, so there's that, uh, but also the fact that, um, also the fact that, uh, yeah, now we have to add cannibal, but at least he doesn't enjoy being a cannibal. So I guess we can say that. Not as bad as he could have been, but he did make it to San Diego and he got a key and an envelope from Whistler's locker, which was interesting. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, there's some interesting shit. Again, I, at the very least, I'm glad that pretty much everything with James is continuing. We just don't have the character anymore. Which is a shame. I did like that guy, and I would have liked... You know, I feel like that has to be part of the you know, payoff, I guess, for spending all season on this guy. But, I'll take what we can get. You know, we're not just like... Well, anyway, after that whole James business, now let's move on to something else. Like, everything is still because of James, even though he's dead. So, there's at least that. Um, let's see. Uh, we did have a uh, cleanup. We got a brief cameo by uh, Sophia and LJ. Yo, <laughs> this is going to be like a sweet gig for uh, the, the kid that plays LJ. Because every so often, they just need him to show up and, you know, not really do too much. Just show up, you know, hug Dominic Purcell and we'll write you a paycheck. That's pretty much it. Like, like he's, he's got, he's kind of got the easiest job on the show. Just every so often, they'll just give him a paycheck, you know? Um, but Sophia has definitely uh, ended up in that category too. So, uh, so the two of them are just going to be hanging out. And yeah, in the three weeks it's been since uh, the end of season three, uh, Link and Sophia have definitely hooked up, so so that was interesting. But then they got separated. Um, but yeah, then we had the reunion, reunion between Sarah and Michael, which was really cool. Um, yeah, I like that. Um, Michael got the tattoos removed. They're finally done putting those tattoos on Wentworth Miller, so they are just yeah, just no more of that absolutely no more of that he has removed the tattoos he's not really like 
you'd think like the next day he'd be like, ah, you know, like it, like that. I feel like that's got to sting for a while, especially all over your fucking body. But no, he seems to be just fine. So that's good. Suspension of disbelief, I guess. But yeah, the tattoos. The tattoos are finally gone. Jesus. Um. Now, is that part of the reason he had the nosebleed? Why the hell did he have a nosebleed? Is he, like, sick or something? I don't know. We're gonna have to find that out later. Uh, let's see. And we've got our mission from, uh, Agent... What was it? Agent Self? Don... She Don... Don Self? Was that his name? I'll look it up. Yeah. Don Self. Damn it, he's... So he's in the main cast, but he's bumped up all the way to number three behind Dominic Purcell and Wentworth Miller. Jeez. And if I'm right, I'm pretty sure this is the guy on Friends. I think he dated Phoebe. Yes! He played Gary on Friends. I'm pretty sure he was the fireman that was dating Phoebe. I have a one in three chance of saying who he was dating, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it was, uh, I'm pretty sure it was, uh, Phoebe. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, interesting shit there. Very interesting shit. We've got a mission, um, and we also have, uh, a new guy, Roland. Roland Glenn. Very, very interesting. Our, our hacker of the group. All right, very interesting. And he's also a con. Uh, and, and I like how Bellic says, you know, um, like, well, we're expendable because we're just a bunch of cons. And that does make sense, but he does believe that uh, they can do it. So, yeah, interesting stuff there. I love that we have a base. Like, that's really cool. We have a base and stuff like that. And uh, Roland's got this device to copy Scylla, which is pretty cool. So, yeah. Uh, and yeah, we have our full team, including Sucre. I love that it includes Bellic too. Like, I don't know why that's so hilarious that, uh, that we're including, uh, we're including Bellic. Um, but yeah, like, I feel like they, after season two, they kind of ran out of things to do with Bellic as a character, but they just like the guy. So it's like, wow, we can keep around. And he is, I mean, he's pulling his weight. You know, he's pulling his weight, so that's at least good. Um, Mahone, we've got Mahone a part of it, obviously, but I think I think Wyatt, Black Lightning, killed Pam and Cameron. Now, he didn't see it. He didn't see it, so maybe not, but... And hell, even Gretchen is still alive, so... Yeah. I don't know, I... I hope not, because that's just sad, but, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, we'll have to see. Either way, like with Michael last season, uh, when it came to Sarah's death, Mahone definitely believes it, so, yeah, he's a little fucked up about it. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, we got the whole thing with Odysseus, which was interesting. Uh, not only talking about the sacrifices, you know, are we going, maybe we might lose people this season, uh, but also the whole thing of Scylla, w which is very interesting. The company, the company is so like blatantly evil that it's just like, yeah, we're going to name, we're going to name our black book after the monster in the Odyssey. Like, okay. It's not even like a, oh, we're actually the, the, the good guys, but maybe we're, it's like, no, they're just evil. They just named it. It's. It's like saying, it's like, I don't know. It's like calling your all important thing, like, like King Ghidorah or something. Like uh, that's the best reference I can think of. Like, no, you're not Godzilla. You're Ghidorah. Like, well, great job. Just be evil already. You know. But yeah, but that stuff was interesting. Uh, they had to retrieve the device uh, and bust into the place, which was cool. Um, I also liked how, uh, when they're talking about the sacrifice and stuff, like, oh, are we going to lose people? You know, it should just be us. But Lincoln saying, like, hey, people chose to be here, you know? So I like that. Uh, Sucre finally had his baby. Good for him. Sucre finally had his baby. 
uh, which was good. He can't stick around. Can't stick around yet. He has to uh, go buy his freedom. Go earn his freedom. But still. Uh, still. We've got Sarah, who was tortured. Uh, and might have some PTSD about that. Um, and yeah, it'll be interesting to see like if Gretchen has to become part of the team at some point. Like If they have to save Gretchen. That's going to be awkward. Because yeah, she tortured... She tortured Sarah, you know? But... Mahone killed their dad, so there's that too. But then finally, we learned that this is only one part of Scylla, and there are six cards in total. Because I was kind of thinking, like, okay, so if we get Scylla, like, okay, so what are we doing next? Because I kind of thought, like, okay, well, take down of the company. I feel like that's got to be the entirety of season four, you know, is taking down the company. But, yeah, this is this is how it's going to be, is that we have to go get the other five now, which is pretty crazy. But, yeah, really, really great stuff. I mean, even, like, I mean, this was packed, but at the same time, this was two episodes. But even just that first episode, just a lot of really good shit in it. So, yeah, I really enjoyed this, and I'm really excited again, you know. so The Sona arc, it was good, and I think on rewatch, I will appreciate it a bit more. But I really like this stuff. Uh, the, you know, this is definitely giving Season 2 vibes, you know? Which is hilarious, because Season 3 gave me Season 1 vibes. So, so yeah. But I like it. I like the team. I like what we're doing with all of this. It is a shame about Whistler, I will say. It's a shame that we couldn't keep Whistler around. But at the same time, I'm really enjoying this. And, yeah. And I still enjoyed Season 3. So, uh, but, yeah. Really, really great stuff. And I'm looking forward to see where we are going next time but that is basically it with all that being said i'm alex from seventh hour films and i will see you guys next time take care all right guys thanks for watching this video there's a bunch of links on screen if you want to go click around to any of those there's a playlist for all of my prison break reactions as well as another video you can go click on if you want there's also a subscribe button and a patreon button on screen as well as other links in the description if you want to go check out any of those see you guys later